too. I just, um, oh, I made such a yummy dinner. <laughs> What'd you have? We had blue grenadier. And oh, yeah. um, just, I just grilled it. But it was just, it was really yummy. It was really yummy. And, and, and some potatoes and just steamed greens. And just simple, but it was, it was yummy. Some, and, some. And, Patty, and Patty stayed up late. Like he sat up and ate this, which was a real buzz. <laughs> That's nice simplicity. Yeah. 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 But really tasty. Blue kind of deer, I tell you. It's my new it's my new favourite fish. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna yeah, it's for, for, yeah, I don't know, don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Aussie fish. Aussie fish. Aussie fish. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that an Aussie fish? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's out of the ocean close to Australia if you're eating fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, ramble on, ramble on. Uh, I thought um, having the beautiful Vanessa with us tonight that she could tell us all her exciting news on how to sell a house. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. How to sell a house. (laughs) Yeah. Well, did you sell your house? You have sold your house, eh? You have sold and it's all unconditional now. Awesome, awesome. Wow. So, yeah. I, I, was, I thought it would be quite cool to go through different, um, re, what, what you observed through the different phases to where it got you to. I thought that would be quite significant because I, um, just in general, if you want to share that, because that would be quite cool for people to have an understanding of even the awareness and the process, um, the blockages and the allowing and trusting and all those, that, that you know, playground of processes. Mm. Yes, I can probably share more of the what not to do. Than the <laughs> 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 um, it was, I found it a fascinating process, selling the house. Like it, yep. it, 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 yeah. What I'm loving about life is how when you, you do those things, that's when you get all that feedback. Um, whereas if you're too scared to do anything and to change, it's almost like you're not getting any feedback. Yep. Um, yep. So the, the whole process was, was really fascinating and probably the most interesting thing for me was that during the process I totally switched my idea of where I wanted to go to next. Yep. Um, and so it was like the house wasn't selling, I was getting frustrated, I was getting frustrated and then once I had that shift and I went, actually, you know, acreage isn't what I want. I want something easier to manage. Um, and I let go of that sort of that attachment to there being any particular outcome that that, was, that felt like when the house sold. Yep. Mm, yep. Yep. That's a really interesting one, the detachment to the outcome. Hmm. Mm. Not just generally in house selling, just generally in life. Mm-hmm. Actually, that can go on to a spin-off of a story of mine. I'll just take over the house conversation. Um, mm. That So obviously because we've been away to the um, Queensland Gold Coast and had all that sun and warmth and stuff and now we're convinced that's where we're, we are meant to be. Um, and, and knowing how I how we got to Melbourne was just a, on a whim, a feel, a a knowing, whatever. And we ended up in this amazing place and had these amazing experiences and just being whatever. Um, So for Vanessa, um, I went, Murray and I and Tyler went up on the weekend and literally from the time my feet hit the ground, I was pain free um, and obviously warm. Um, and within 24 hours, I had a phone call with my sister saying about, um, the paintings going up in the cafe. Um, Gabrielle messaged me later on with a friend that might touch base for some one-on-one stuff and in contact, um, just a sports stuff contact. So I was kind of like, everything was just coming at me as soon as I just hit the ground, um, kind of, we didn't do anything. We totally laxed out and obviously... In comparison, you could say, oh, they've been away, felt warm, got a holiday. That's, yeah, it's, they're in that holiday mode. Um, 
uh, maybe for Murray, but for me personally, I'm in holiday mode consistently. So therefore, the only difference I'm feeling was the weather. Um, so in, in reality is Melbourne has a nice summer, so that's okay. Um, understand me, so my body's been in a real interesting place for the last couple of years. And um, to go there and have instant pain-free feeling. And, and so I think, um, Gabrielle and I, we're talking about how the body talks and the whole contraction mm. and, and the release. So symbology, that's what my body does here, it has gone into in, in, in um, Melbourne. And um, once I hit Queen, Queensland, it just released. And it didn't actually do that in Sunshine Coast. So interestingly, so if you're looking at an observation, so listening to my body, um, that's kind of the process of where I'm feeling I'm meant to be, which is how I felt I was a while ago when we came here first. Now back to the detachment of the outcome. Um, the process of us going there is, a lot, is now become the playground of the unknown, which is how I play life, um, which is really exciting. And so I'm having the two boys with me. So I took them to a house that was um, a lottery house and stuff, sat on there, got photos taken, had fun, just, just totally. But I just saw the excitement and the fun come back into their life. And that's how I choose to play life. Hadn't seen the sparkles and the warmth and the fun in their eyes. Um, more about being more um, immersed in life instead of playing life, if you, can, if you can understand it. So the funny thing is, is the questions of how are you going to do it? What are you going to, have you got a job? Where are you going to, blah, 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 have started by multitudes of people that we've put out there that, oh, I just know that's where we've got to be. And... Um, and so it's kind of that detachment to the outcome and enjoying the process. Um, you know, that's how I love how I, how I love to play. So I dabble in everything, to, you know, or, or nothing <laughs> at the same time and trust it to unfold itself. A real significant factor is, um, so, so one of the houses that we put in for um, obviously was drawn and, and obviously we didn't get it and some guy, lovely guy in Victoria got it. And... Um, the reality of contrast is interesting. So you're looking for a house, I think, and um, and you go, oh, yeah, this would be fine and lovely, lovely, blah, blah, blah. The reality is, is A, we'd prefer a pool. B, we'd like wooden floors. The house that um, was up had none of that, right? <laughs> so, so, so matching the vibrational match is, you know, those fine-tuning what you prefer and what you enjoy in bits and pieces. And saying that, allowing the process that if it comes to you that way, you can go and enjoy it that way or you can sell it and do whatever. It's, we're aware of those, those playgrounds. Uh, the other significant factor was is purchasing. So you go online and you Google something and you find something that turns up and it shows you wooden floors, a lap pool, a steam room, um, a, a bathroom in every every bedroom, which caters for all my people coming to stay, and I share with. Do you know what I mean? So this, yeah. so so it's kind of like, oh, this is so funny. And obviously that's under contract, but beautiful, beautifully bang on, perfect. Um, and I'm obviously open to receiving. However, that formulates if you know it chooses to be the benevolent outcome. So it's now become the playground um, of the unknown, and even even. But the excitement seeing in Murray's eyes again is um, he's even searching, oh, maybe you'd look at a job or not that I need a job, but, you know, if I play in a job, what would it be? Oh, I could come back and do this. I could come back. So the whole play fun, which is, you know, my ultimate state of experience for everyone to dabble in, um, has now become, yeah, and it just feels so different. But, I, yeah, so that's that whole detachment to outcome. I just had to share that long story for that little but but the people needing to know the processes mm. um back to how to sell a house i think is really important um because i had that topic of conversation with um it's uh, yeah i was going to say because i had that topic of conversation with a friend on the on the weekend that's just obviously got a phone call for my my new home uh, <laughs> Or a, or a job in Queensland. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just saying. Um, yeah, so I had a friend talking about um, how to sell a house and when you've got um, negative 
um, point of views, negative chats, negative talking about it. And of course, that's going to block the flow. So what if you've got a partner that looking isn't as open as minded as what we'd say we are, um, and you're going to sell a house? You know, um, for me, um, a personal thing is fixing this person, not the partner, because the partner is just a, the more you buy into his story, the more you create it. So that was my, my bigger thing um, to them. Did you have any of that with your husband? Yeah, so um, I probably met him on me who wanted to sell the house. Yeah. Um, and, and so when I was getting frustrated that it wasn't sold, it was, you know, part of it was that's why, you know, it's, it's because, you know, I, I was going into that, it's because they don't want to sell it. The um, blame game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I did do the, no, that's, you know, I just need to focus on the outcome I want. And I had a very wise friend who's very good at selling houses. She said to me, she said, Vanessa, she said, you just need to focus on what you really like about the house. Yep. Ask everyone what they love about the house and yep. highlight those things. Yep. And, um, and that was just... You know, that, that for me was just amazing. And I went, isn't that life too? Like, if you know, we could just focus on the things we liked about life and highlight them. Yeah. And, and not worry quite so much about the other stuff when, yep. you know, that's the winning formula as well. Yeah. I think if you can take a house as a reflection of the aspect of your being and then understand um, and, and treat it as you. So, again, empowering yourself, empowering the house. And, and, and that's where your focus goes, that's where energy flows, and that's what people choose to see. If you're looking at someone you, and you don't want to be pulling, you know how the world is, is and it focuses on the negative aspects and pulls it out, but if you empower somebody, how much better does that feel when you're focusing on something good? You can have a hundred things wrong, but find that one thing good yeah. and bring that into focus. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Good advice. Good advice. Good advice. And so, so, um, so the reality. So, have you got a house that you, you're going to, or you know where you're going? Yeah. <laughs> the next exciting. <laughs> when we sold for about a week after we sold, I just felt pure freedom and joy. Yep. Can we just stop on that bit? I think there's a really cool. Can could you? Okay, pure freedom and joy, um, and yet you've sold your house and you've got nowhere to go. So what, what do you reckon was the trigger point of the pure freedom joy stuff? Um, for me, I think it was that I was living in the house because I was scared to do anything else. Yeah. And so once I was able to let go of the belief that, you know, we had to have the house that or that, or that we had to have bought somewhere else before we sold the house. Yep. Um, you know, once I was able to let go of that belief, then there was there was joy and freedom in life. Mm. There's also another aspect that's um, maybe you not experienced, but that's coming to me, and I'm going to share is that the pure freedom and joy of having nothing sometimes, mm -hmm. um, and that sense of non-attachment and non-control. There's just nothing. There is just nothing, and I can. The reason I've gone to that point is because I remember when the point of us, Murray and I, and our relationship is one of the highest points of his excitement and happiness. It was probably the, when we absolutely had nothing to our names, and yet when we won a house, he became more fearful of what he was going to lose and how much he needed to work and how hard it was going to be to control due to blah, blah blah blah, and made this big story. And so the more we had the more stressful he got, which is obviously there is no difference of having more or less. It's only your thinking. But I, that's why I wanted to trigger on the, the freedom and joy in, the, in, in almost nothing, even though you've got an asset um, subconsciously loaded in behind you. Um, so, so sorry. Yeah. There was a possibility as well. Like, yeah. You know, there was just that sense of, well, there, there is no, you know, there is, nothing that I know is coming next at the moment so what do I want to create oh awesome awesome the play field yeah 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 <laughs> go and have a look at this does that feel go and have a look at this yeah 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 like little kids in a, a lolly shop yeah yeah 
Yeah, and then I was, I was, I've been aware of when the fear has set in, like when, you know, that spot to worry and concern and, and I can, you know, I'm more aware of that. Yeah, yeah. There's no need to go there really, is there? No. <laughs> <laughs> unless, you want to play, unless you want to play there. So, um, Powerful Thought and Creation, have you looked at, look, look honestly, I trust that in the essence of your being creates the reality of the outcome. So therefore, um, it will be perfectly aligned. Yet in a playful, controlled atmosphere, which we all know we can actually contribute to the outcome, is that placement of what you want. So therefore, placing out certain things like, um, you know, whether you want wooden floors, tile floors or whatever. Have you played in that field or you're trusting the outcome? No, I haven't played in that field. And that's a field I actually find it quite difficult to play in. Okay, tell me, tell me um, why that would be difficult to play in. Yeah, so I think that probably goes back to my childhood that, um, you know, I was never really allowed to ask for what I wanted. Yeah, I've got the word limitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so limitation on, on you're yeah, just the limits on what you're actually allowed to have. Mm. Mm. That's cool, though the acknowledgement in that, because obviously that awareness is just is what it is. Because mm. it's yeah. Um, so if uh, having the if you had you know in the ultimate space in your all your being and the choice of who you are, um, what would you choose to have? Um, I think I'd choose to have the ultimate. Like I'd like I'd love wooden floors. Um, <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, let's go wooden floors. Yeah. I'd like something that's quite modern, so just different to where we are yeah. at the moment, which is yeah. um, fairly old-fashioned. We've got dado walls and yeah. lots of wood. And so I really want something that's quite clean and modern. Um, and I actually think I'd like to be um, in walking distance of Main Street. Nice. Yeah convenience and simplicity for yeah. where, where kids and everyone's at at this particular moment yeah mm -hmm. nice that, that's actually that's a real simplistic value too like i don't think that's a hard one to kind of achieve um not that anything's hard but it, you know like i'm just looking at that's you have you can get so many precise you know like how people can create and they get down to the precise little bits and pieces and it's so doable um yeah, I just trust, and I think that's where you're at. If you've got this, 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 really everything else just comes together. Um, I, I, I've only placed it out there, so um, let's let's see what happens over the next, you know, whatever few yeah. days there, um, and stimulate at, um, some energy in the in the formula, you know, and see what plays out in your reality. Because ultimately, when I get on realestate.com, which I've been avoiding doing. Yeah. Um, then I start to go, oh, no, maybe we should live here. Oh, no, maybe we should live here. Oh, no, maybe we should live here. <laughs> and it's like then that whole thing about choice and not being able to write, you know, possibly not making the right choice comes up. Oh, that's a, that's a good, yeah. That's a good playground, though, real estate. I, I mean, I, if you're in a creative mode or if you're trusting in the process and you're in that space, real, um, real estate, whatever if you're looking at that it's not limiting the outcome so like a lot of people we will that have sold a house or even looking for a house automatically put a budget figure mm -hmm. okay and that's that's their limit that they'll look at they won't go any further that's that's part of it um whereas i'm the whole adventurist i'll go top of the market to the creative doer upper like at the extremes um, preference at the moment is probably more what we would say high-end market um, and then allow that reality to formulate itself um, with an understanding that I'm a bit curious about the avoidance um, and the choice thing instead of the more playful space mm. and the no right or wrong do you know what I mean what, you know yeah, and what I'm aware is that's a real change from, um, you know, and we've lived here for 18 years and I uh, had another property before that. And there was none of that when I, we bought both of those. Like it was just pure joy 
about what cool. we were doing and the experience we were having. And okay. Yep. Yeah, the one thing I have said to my husband is until we feel back, I really don't want to buy. Like, I don't mind if we rent. Yep. Okay. Okay. Signifying um, 18 years ago, how many children did you have? None. <laughs> Adding them into the equation, has that like killed joy? Um, you know, uh, <laughs> the reality of how many more people you're taking into consideration? Yeah. 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 Um, knowing, knowing, okay, knowing that when you're in a great place, the ripple effect it has on everybody else, it will become irrelevant because they'll just meet you at that point. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So yeah. The aware our awareness of how we compensate others into the equation, and not just in housing, just in life, you know, family. And w once we start accommodating that, we start depowering our aspect of our, our space, which yeah. then adds into the formula. So just, just think if it was just you, uh, uh, with the awareness that you've got, kids, and the awareness that you trust, that, you know, just go with the same instincts that you know feel good do you know yeah. and bring joy without overthinking that and allow that house to attract walk into that house then go does this feel right for all you know how does it sit now when i'm in it and then formulate how what the i'm thinking practically and logically for the human being how it's going to accommodate a teenager here this and this 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 do you know what i mean but first and foremost get this all in that space and look for houses for the fun and joy of that without that and then flip into that and out of that and go hey could this work this work this work um how does this feel this you know and then go there yeah. instead of instead of starting from i've got three kids to think about on um, this how's how's this going to work because we've already got the filters coming further and further further away from you yeah and, and start looking from Vanessa and, the, and, and tapping into that moment of joy and passion and excitement of the new adventure, uh, like as you did 18 years ago and bring that here now, because that, that's the reality of, of, we'll call them moments, but the, the reality of everything that's in play, we can pull those in and experience them, those fun things. And because we've experienced it, so we know what it feels like. So you can bring that in back and, and get that. So another, another symbology is that me sharing the excitement with Murray and taking him to a house and putting him up there and we're taking photos and, and feeling the fun and, you know, and just, just having that. And then the, uh, that remembering how much fun and excitement, then it, they get to experience that. And if they choose to keep playing in that, you know, but a long time, you know, when you don't play in it, it just goes away and filters down into your system until you want to tap in because it's all there. Mm. Mm. I just think, I think just get, have some fun. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last two weeks, maybe, I've just felt so incredibly unwell and I'm sure that it's, yeah. it's related. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, just so so symbology. So your body's telling you, like, and saying, in my body's telling me, I've been here probably a bit over past my time for where my body is ready to be at somewhere else. And, and so your body is telling you um, in a conflict. It's like my body's telling me in a conflict. I'm getting it through being so friggin' cold, and and whatever else is going on. And your body's getting it through some sort of illness, and but it's 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 that thing that we talked about the other week, um, Gabrielle. That body talk, how the body is actually such an information center, and um, your house your house is the reflection of of us, isn't it? You know. So I, here's a, here's a, here's a, we'll swing this though. Um, so I had a had a chat to my daughter today. We're talking um, money, and I said to her so. Why do you see it separate from yourself when it's the same? Same as the house. You look at the house as the same as you. So that way, if you're in a good space, your house is going to be, the one you attract is going to be in a good space. But if you're not in a good space, you're going to not attract that space. Do you understand? And, and it's the same with the finances and the whatever, health and blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's not separating them both. Mm. Yeah, so 
So what was interesting was though that this seemed to follow having been in such a good space. Yep. So I didn't I didn't quite understand how that had happened. Well, everything's an ex everything exists, eh? Like, so it's never non-stopping. Like, you, the good, the good can only be good because we see it good, and the bad can only be bad because we see it bad. Mm -hmm. So it all exists, and it depends how long you want to camp in it. So how long have you chosen to camp in one expression uh, of playground, and instead of switching a a simple thought pattern to shift it into a different playground of focus. You know, like the house, looking for a good house uh, or selling a house. You focus on all the good stuff. You don't focus on the bad stuff. It's the same within your, in the essence of your body. What, what ground we want to play in and if we keep telling ourselves and keep staying, it keeps regurgitating the same message. Does that feel right? Is, is that, that kind of... Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it's hard when you're talking about physical symptoms, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So significantly, what is it? That's, that's actually probably a good spin, physical symptoms. So your physical symptoms in relation to, do you feel to the house, because that's just one reflection, or physical symptoms in general? Um, in general. Okay. Yeah. But they're playing out more so now? Yes. Yeah. And so where's the fear at the moment? Um, yeah, so I think the fear is, um, is not finding somewhere where we're all happy. Yep, 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 that's what I got. That's yeah. what I got. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, so again, the fear of the unknown. Um, what's the worst scenario? So let's go to the worst scenario. Yeah, we're not happy and we sell and move again. Yo, that's not bad. Um, I was thinking more that you have no house to go to and you have to rent for how we belong. So, you know, like seriously, one or the other. Um, yes, um, so, so how bad's that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's it, let, it's I, I, I get, I get that it's not. Yeah, yeah. So, so the mental thinking is really clogging up the density and the running of your system. So, whatever generally is flat, is going on in your systems intensified ten times maximum because of the formulas that we're playing in our playgrounds and choosing to be you know, in the murky waters more than the clear waters. And it's only that simple. What is the worst scenario? Oh, well, seriously, for goodness sake, maybe you might have to come and live here and we'll go live in Queens, Queensland, yeah. you know, like seriously. Um, you, you just don't know, do you? That's, that's the reality. You just don't know. But it's being open without, uh, you know, the fear, you, without controlling that outcome because you don't want to feed that to become more in your playground. Yeah. So I think for the general symptoms, and I don't know what's going on with you, and, and it's all, I don't care if you don't cheer or whatever. Um, the, the re, what, I'm, what I'm saying is the general symptoms are intensified by the product of us running our systems and with what's all going on. But they've also got their own story inside that. Do you know what I mean? So they've got their story playing out in our health system then you add the filter of your life which is going on which is playing it back to you which is you know but it's all smudging over the point mm -hmm. of of what's really at the bottom of of that do you know what i mean so whatever the point is is first come out in physical and then it's intensified by um the reflective space of life um, normally you might get by with it being a bit more simpler, but obviously because there's a lot more stress going on with house stuff, it's intensified um, somewhat more. That's how I would see it anyway. Does that make sense? Yeah, so is it just a choice? Look, honestly, health's a choice. I, we talked menopause actually while I was away, and I was just saying, you know, we play in a field that believes in it, so therefore it has become it, mm -hmm. you know? 
is it, is it a reality? <laughs> you know, like seriously, is that's just another formula of reality. So is our cancer cells. If we choose to play in it, it becomes our reality. Um, and saying that, it's an awareness that um, exists within all of us. Um, you know, and I'm no, this is not, yeah, this is just a token of what ifs. Um, the thoughts are, and, and we're going with what if thoughts create things that becomes reality. And so, you know, for generations, I think I had a friend up at the airport and she was having hot flushes and I'm sitting and she's going, oh, I'm sitting there going, um, hey, and she's going, are you having this? And I'm going, oh, I don't have hot flushes because I'm so fucking cold. But um, anyway, I just said to her, um, isn't it funny, the generation before us, our parents, um, they probably had a lot, a lot going on and, and you know, and everyone could have probably thought, Jesus, done those women moan a lot. They've always got something wrong with them. Today, we've got every justification, excuse, and playground for us to perform in them. <laughs> Whereas probably the generation before just chipped away at the block. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh. Didn't they actually even know what's going on. And um, and yes, there's probably a lot that went on and and um, didn't you know passed over with lots of other illnesses because we today's well we get tested for so much. Um, but then is that good or bad? Do you know what I mean? Like, so I do believe that we, it is a playground system that we run in, in our health as well. Um, if we, and I do think everything is healable. I'm not a actually walking, talking, living proof of everything, but I believe it's doable. If you're in that such good space, um, I, I so, I'm so curious because I actually have never really suffered in a lot of stuff until I've in the last few years of being here, which now significantly has shown me that it's, it's instantly kind of moved within five days of being away. I was just, it was gone in day one. I was up early. I was motivated. And of course you can put sunlight and warmth and blah, 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 and not having a job. But reality is I don't have that anyway. And I do have good summers here, but I still couldn't feel like I felt in those moments. Mm. So, now I'm curious as what's really going on and does it really matter, you know, because I've always said that trust it will sort itself out. Mm. I think if I, um, when it comes to illness, I think it's an interesting thing. Um, injuries, illnesses and stuff, because there's so much written on the emotional state of being. Mm. You know, if, you, if there's some amazing books out there. And I think I... I talk to you about in a seagulls book when I years and years ago um I don't kind of look at it as a healing book because I don't actually think there's so much I don't like to emphasize on the word healing because there's actually nothing wrong with us I think within the awareness we can shift the reality um I'm more about that yet I think like anything there's a playground to play if you focus and then create that outcome I'm more about instantaneously oh here bang boof done instead of oh, here, I'll play here and I'll become religiously doing affirmations for the rest of my life because this is how it's going to happen. Mm. So do you think it's energy? Mm. It's all energy, isn't it? It's mm. mm. energy wanting to be integrated. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it an adaption of... Um... Okay, so I'm... I'm... Different things have been happening. So I'm looking at myself. So different things have happened to me since living in Melbourne, um, physically, body wise. And you could go age, you could do whatever. Or, you know, there's 50,000 stories you could tell, or me not getting out and doing anything, or whatever. You could play in those all sorts of playgrounds. Yet the funniest thing is, every time I've gone out and spoke, so I've travelled back to New Zealand, each time I've gone back, it's instantly gone. Um, if I And I didn't have it so much in. Um, our trip to whatever, um, try and sunshine. Um, I was still a bit cold um, and stuff, and I'd come back. There's still a lot of adjustments, but then I look at it when I went to Adelaide and stuff. There's instant things that happen when I, and it's more when I'm working like this, empowering and being that full version of myself, I tend not to be in so much pain. Mm. So when I'm not fully immersed into that uh, I think must uh, you know or is it that or is it is it that it's just such a connection like when I first came here for the first four, whatever four years 
I was walking to exercise, motivated, blah, 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 you know, doing all my bits and then went to nothing. And it's been quite a, you know, and then you look at the iron deficiency that seemed to crop up over that particular time. And so literally everything was just stopping. And then, um, then boof, you go up there and you feel like you could, you know, I just, you just keep going. You just wanted to keep going and going and going and you feel good and you want to get up. Even the boys said, you know, they, they noticed how, how different it was. And, um, yeah, you can blame the sunshine. You can put, put, I think what I'm saying is you can say it's this and you can say it's that and you can say it's your head, you can say it's whatever. I don't, don't give it a label. You know, don't give it a label because it allows it to be more than what it is. Gives you a focus point. Yeah. Um, I, I do believe, though, like I said to you, if, if your intention was so fully aligned with who you truly are, you could clean anything up. But I think in saying that, here's your contrast, because you're going to have always contrast. I think there's a hell of a lot of people that fear death. So therefore, it's your instant contrast of what you're going to create or the fear of worrying something's going to happen to your kids or the fear of whatever. So automatically, your program's corrupted into, into a different energy zone, which is a lot denser. So what I put it out to, like even even the whole money formula, the the, the stuff with Carissa today was, um, you know, whatever we're living and whatever we're thinking, um, the fragment of difference will be the reality that's played back to us. Run that one again. But... That so, whatever we're living, you know, the um, how we are living. Yeah. What are we th and what we're actually thinking? Yeah. And the fragment of difference will be the reality that plays back to us through life, becomes our everyday experience. Okay. Does that make sense? So, so if you're fully aligned, then you're going to have that experience. It's going to, whatever experience that experience is. The thing what I'm saying is like if mm. as soon as we're a fragment outside ourself, well, mm. well the, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. I did, so knowing that life is a mirror and it plays back to us. Mm. And then knowing how we function. So we're, so you've got this, you've got this information center that you totally know how to corrupt and run, right? Like seriously, you, I look at, you know, um, even Chris with all her, um, life coaching skills and bits and pieces, even me and my thinking, you know, like seriously. Um, and then the, the awareness that we know and the authentic running of our system, uh, uh, you know, how we play every day, um, the difference yeah. is how the world will re uh, comes back to us and it's our re that reactive play. But if you're in that good space, all that should just carry on and it wouldn't matter. Right. And you know what I mean? Um, the density of the worrying about how you're going to pay bills, do whatever, those sort of things come from that separation. Yeah. So I've been playing with, and, and I just want to yeah. am I on the same track, that it's the difference between how source sees us and how we see ourselves, that that's the, the point of difference. Okay. So how source sees us and how we see ourselves can you see the separation already yeah absolutely yeah yeah so i cannot i cannot sit here and say that um the segment of difference oh, okay hang on okay i'm looking at the i'm looking at a separation and source in us but you're saying from a whole being source watching the personification of vanessa And that difference is played back. Mm. Is that what you're saying? I, I think I'm saying that source, you know, source sees us as being perfect and whole and complete. Yes. Can you tell me who source is? Well, well source is, is me, you, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So source is, is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, okay, so you're saying source is all that is. Yep. Yeah. And then you're saying how we see ourselves. Yeah. So, so is, 
I'm seeing that as a separation already. Yes. Yeah, so I'm saying if that separation what's what's shown back to us. See I can yeah, see I can't look I, I don't look from that perspective. So I look from the source perspective probably if you want to go source here, is us here. Mm -hmm. Because it can't be separated. So I'm just like, if, if you can imagine I'm, the, I'm this finger and you're that finger and whatever, we're all connected to this one source. Yeah. Having the experience. Yeah. I can't, uh, yeah, yeah. I've got a, I, I, the fragment of difference is the separating source for myself, which I can't consolidate into myself at the moment from, for, for a speaking. Like it's just not even... I've probably worked a process that I've formulated that thinks it's all one and I'm yeah. trying to not separate it. Um, uh, yeah. I see simply that the multitudes of self playing in this reality, because if this is the only existence in the whole being and everything's an illusion, it is us playing back to us. Then anything that's contrast life's going to throw, um, throw the reflection back to us. Mm -hmm. so that that would be via illness via finances via um whatever okay. injuries you know so then does it just come back to what you believe yep 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 so if whatever whatever resonates with the soul of your being will be the outcome of the experience So as soon as you separate anything, the reality becomes more of a chance of a playground of multitudes of realities to become the experience for you to play in. Does that kind of make sense? I'm going to have to watch that one again. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a couple of good ones. So I will too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, think, I think it's a really good topic of discussion because that's the whole you know you know you want to get down into and we're looking at illness you're looking at houses and you're looking at finance they're all the same mm. yet we see them separately so if we're in a good space the house is going to be in a good space the finance is going to be in a good space because that's just a reflection of ourselves and being mm. But tell that to someone who's sick and can't see that. That's just another experience again. And, and again, I think that's where it has to come back to the alternate responsibility and self and their own belief and their own journey and their own way. You can never say it's just this way, this way, this way, this way, because that's, you know, that's a load of bollocks because I'm here to experience it however it unfolds in a way that I choose it to be. Yeah. And for me to say this is how it is, is a load of crop because your experience and my experience are having their own experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a different perspective. From, yeah. Yeah. From yeah. Where you are. Yeah. Gabrielle, I've yet all that time, yeah. but, and then you're sitting there really quietly and I reckon you must have so much wisdom to share with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually good, been a good topic. Like seriously, uh, thanks Vanessa. Cause it's kind of like, mm. you know, um, even though we started on houses, we went down a whole lot of other yeah. tangents to, to that. Kick in, Gabrielle. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I have to say. Cool. Mm. 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 Did you get, what did you get out of it? Anything? Um, hmm. <laughs> it's, you know, it feels like it's, it's, it comes back to the same thing that has come out the last couple of weeks around, you know, life being a reflection of us and whether that be, as you've just said, the money, the house, yeah, the illness, whatever. And I think, um, yeah. And that when we're not aligned, then that's going to be reflected back to us through some avenue. Mm. Um, and I just, just yep. I just wrote down the word a reactional playground. So life's a reflection of us, and the difference is the reactional playground. 
That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> share that. Share that's interesting to us. That's, <laughs> well, I was just, it's actually funny because I was doing another groupology video. Yeah. I think it was yesterday I did it. And it was all about reflection and how I'd had this experience with Patty and what an amazing mirror he was. And it was about um, how, you know, I got up one morning and wanted to, got, had decided I really wanted to go out for breakfast and he just would not cooperate. Um, you know, and I tried to, you know, eventually he was really whingy and really like hanging on to me. And I was like, oh, what's going on? And, you know, I tried to get him in the car, just, just, and I was like, okay, I, he really didn't want to get in the car. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And I noticed that I'd started to react to him. And then I realized, and I was like, I stopped. And I was like, what is this about? And I realized I had a massive feeling. <laughs> um, and then you know, once connected with the feeling and it moved, uh, and I turned to him and said, do you want to go out for breakfast? And he literally said, yes. Yes. And without a complaint, I hopped in the car and off we went. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the wisdom of a two-year-old. Uh, <laughs> my, I, that dude, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. He's amazing. Yeah. And I, so I was just thinking, um, yeah, I, 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 I obviously, you know, in reflection, I could, I could see he, he was reflecting my state. But it was, I didn't really get it until I noticed my reaction. Mm. Mm. So, um, yeah. Mm. The reactional playground. Yeah, that's, mm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because when he doesn't cooperate, I don't always have a reaction. Like, yeah. There's but a few bet... times today I didn't want to get in the car and I was like, okay, cool, let's not get in the car. And we did, you know, a few other things and then he'd hop in the car. It was fine. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I was just relating it back to my experience. Mm, yeah, no, it's good. Mm, mm. Great. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, mm. yeah. And obviously, mm. obviously we can make anything out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, yes. uh, even with the house and stuff, when, with, you know, what we're saying, Vanessa, it is what it is because really it doesn't matter. Um, but the awareness and, and the curiosity and and and, yeah, and a stimulation of of the unknown. Yet we do know. Do you know what I mean? That the whole mm. contrast and like mm. you know, until there's nothing until we ask that question, and then it becomes a multitude of realities. So you know, how many playgrounds do you want to play in? Um, what else is happening in your life, um, Vanessa? Did you have? I, I kind of gave you a story tonight to play with. Have you got something you want to share? Or no, I, I, you probably gave me a story that brought up most of what I wanted to share. Um, I, just, I, I wanted to, when you were talking about location and feeling well, um, I just wanted to say that um, there's a, a doctor slash. She's Chinese and she, she's the GP who used to work in Mount Liza. She's moved um, back to Tasmania, who was quite well known, who did a lot of Western, Eastern medicine, along yeah. with being a GP. And she worked vibrationally, did a lot of stuff vibrationally. And she used to work with people who were really ill to find the best place for them to go and live. Wow. To be well. Mm. And she used to send people to some of the most interesting destinations. Wow, that's cool. Um, yeah, and, and would go, you know, if you work here, the, the actual, the, the environment, the temperature will all suit yeah. your body better and you'll yeah. feel that. Yeah, so uh, and, and, and maybe that's an awareness I'm getting an understanding because that, um, I've, I've, you know, especially in the last two or three years, I don't know, about probably two years, the co I've never been, never experienced coldness like I've experienced coldness, and and everyone's saying the weather's you know, winter or whatever, and it was saying it wasn't too bad, and I was like, no, seriously, dude, it's 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 freezing. Like I'm ice cold to the bone, and then honestly, I hop into bed and it'll, I am just Murray go, Jesus, like yeah. you know, it's 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 so icy cold, and of course he gets hot and sweaty, so I snuggle up to him till I'm just defrosted, and I can actually <laughs> go back. But it's 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 ice to the bone cold. Yeah. And mm. yeah. yeah, and so it's definitely um, instant transformation, instant. Never had one experience of it the whole time I was there, and you know I've been having it for years here. So um, it's kind of like for me, it was like okay, 
um, you know, I'm open to, I'm open to, sh I'm open to moving. I'm open to anything like this. Um, but I just found just, yeah, mentally, you know, you know what sunshine does anyway. So I'm kind of awareness of the whole holiday vibe thing, which you can get into and think, Oh yes, I've got to move there. And it's, it's, um, it's just, uh, yeah, it was the first time I'd had that knowing that I had when we first moved over and that was more convincing for me. Um, and then I put it, then I logically played with it, you know, like, okay, so you've got holiday here. And then I thought, well, I've got holiday here. <laughs> you know, like, seriously, dude. It's the, so you could, blame, you could blame the sunshine, but then, you know, I'm looking at how much the sunshine, even in, in the hot months here, and what I gain in the experience in the last couple of years here. And I'm thinking... I got more in five days than I've ever got for the last few years in that feeling zone, um, connected space, whatever. And it's not that you, whatever, it's just not fighting. And it is just curious. And it's nothing, like I said, make it something. But I'm just, yeah, it's just a, yeah, a, a knowing for me and a feeling. And it's just nice to see the boys excited and playing. Like for Tyler, it's pretty irrelevant because he's finished his schooling. And I think that was the whole thing. The benevolent outcome was we were meant to be here and more for him as much as it's for us because we've had great experiences. You think about all the peninsula we've covered, how many concerts, you know, all the fun, Melbourne, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've all, it, it's been fantastic. Yet um, I think we're ready. Like it's, it's at that point we're ready. And yeah. Um, but yeah, watch, watch the space. So that's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, the vibration, land, because land is energy and, you know, and you can feel it. So, yeah, I don't know if I saw it in the ocean, but it's okay. Ah, oh, no, I might, I might take up surfing, actually. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see me. <laughs> live, live. Here, here, here I was freezing, now I'm in a bikini. And I'm <laughs> surfing. <laughs> Gone for my Oh, geez, my oh. husband would appreciate me being a bit warmer. And <laughs> she would say appreciate you being in a bikini. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, uh, so hey, Ali, I've yeah, got a yeah, question go for, for you, which is completely left yeah. field. I love it. But love it. it came up for me during the week because I was noticing, I was noticing contrast, and I've yeah. heard myself say it a bit, whether it be through experience or just visual. Um, and I was like, you often, you often talk about contrast. Like you'll say something and then you go, oh, and here's the contrast. And I was like, oh. I was like, I was quite curious about it. I was thinking, is that because it's like, it's just a, um, a perception and therefore, and because, any, I don't know. I was just, and because anything is possible, it's just yes. saying, well, here's one view. Yes, and then you yes. can completely flip it and look at another way. And yes. it actually doesn't matter. It's just yep. a choice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. good. Yes. Okay, so, good. so, 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 out of one thing can come a multitude of playgrounds. Yes. And so, so out of nothing comes everything. Well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 how can it just be one? That's what I mean. How can we have one perspective, one human delivering one perspective? This is a way to live life. Yeah. Because as soon as life is born. There's a multitude of playgrounds. Oh, God. God. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's the contrast. And then, you yeah. know, and if, if, if life, is, <laughs> life is just here to experience, well, the contrasting playgrounds are to experience. Now, oh. the, the reason contrast probably exists is because we actually give it power to exist because we believe it to be so. So, you know, therefore it is. So you could go even down to that channel. But I think the simplicity is, is out of nothing comes everything. And then it is so expansive. It's so mm. expansive. Mm. It's so expansive. It's like it goes. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, and then it's kind of like, oh, far out. Anything's possible. Like yeah. anything, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, that's what I mean. You know, Vanessa, we're talking about health. So the multitudes of playgrounds, even in our health mm. environment, buying into this story and that story, buying into whether you need to do this or that, it just comes down to feels great or how much attention you want to give it and how, what's the story we feed it um you know those those things um and this and there's no wrong or right there's just a whole lot of playgrounds to be experienced and it is what it is and 
perhaps just chill, letting us chill out. And if our body wants resting, you know, so let it rest, you know, um, mm. and don't, don't fight what we think it needs to be doing. Um, and that it's, itself. it's true. I, I had that exact experience today. I was just telling Ali Vanessa before you got on that I, um, yesterday afternoon, I felt, suddenly felt exhausted. And, um, and I text Fergal and I said, babe, can you come home as quick as you can? Because I just, all I wanted to do was sleep. And so he left at work early and, and got home. And, and I went to bed as soon as he walked in the door. And then um, thankfully I had Rochelle looking after Patty today, dropped him up there and just hopped straight back into bed. <laughs> nice. Rejuvenated for and, tonight. <laughs> yeah, but at some point during the day, and I was just thinking about then, um, I decided and I was saying to Ali like I got up and I watched a bit of tv which I never do and I was like oh it was quite luxurious and then um <laughs> I had a, I had a phone call with with Cara and I was saying to Ali I was talking to her and then I just burst into tears and was crying and crying and <laughs> so I Fergus just opened the bedroom door and Patty's standing there um <laughs> I burst into, and then I was like, oh, after I cried, I was like, oh, I'm fine. And yeah. I hopped in the car, went and picked up Patty, went shopping. All my energy was like, boom, I'm fine. Yeah. 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 But, I, I, you know, it was like I needed to, I needed to emote. Yeah. Um, and I just, whether I wasn't ready or whatever it was that was going on, it was, yeah, anyway, it was great to honour it. And then and then not, have yeah. that shift. Yeah. And, and not try and work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was really mindful because that often happens before I get sick. I'll get mm. tired and then I'll get sick. And I was being really mindful of not making it mean anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. just allowing myself to be tired. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, that was, mm. that's really nice. I think that's mm. what, it was I, nice. I think that's what the last few years with um, whatever's that my body is, is tuning is it's just, um, if I'm, t if I would need to rest, I rest. If I don't, I don't. It just doesn't really matter. And the funniest thing is, is that I would, I would put Murray as a more fitter um, person as me. Like he's got a hugely physical job, and he is probably fitter than miles fitter than me. And um, um, and he cycles a lot more than me. And in, so exercise wise, he does phenomenal amounts. Yet when we're walking on the beach, um, in in the in the coast, we we did some huge you know case I just thought I could go and go and go I actually took a picture of us all and I looked at it and um, I looked at them and I thought shit I'm actually looking probably better than all of them or you know and mm. and the thing is when it's there it's there you know so I was kind of like putting in it I probably can't go and do the physical work he does admittingly or whatever but for what I need and what I'm enjoying it, it was just reflectively there so I was kind of fascinated by my perception on thinking of what that is also. And I also met up with a friend who's an athlete and just with her body and I always look at her and she's an amazing athlete. Um, but the reality of what she's actually, you look at someone and you perceive they're, they're doing extremely well or they're doing certain, they're all going through their own motions, their own experiences, their own, you know, pains, their own aches, their own whatever. We were talking about... Um, injuries and reflection on or you know um does it mean something and stuff too that it was a real cool chat um it's a trigger point of you know a story um mm -hmm. that what your body's telling you about yourself um so so yeah i had lots of playgrounds in those so again i got to got to chat like we did here with three beautiful ladies um and sharing stories and it was just like sitting here so again, I so I, I, again, it was me anchoring the way I play consistently. So the body was just in that space consistently, which I do play like this here. So I'm just kind of curious why it felt so freely there mm. compared to so restricted here. And literally, as I came back into the airport, it was mm. tight. Mm. It's just, just like whoa. So maybe I had even experienced that to even understand it. Um, but mm. Mm. it is what it is. Preference and choices, yeah. Oh, I, and like seriously, you're looking at oh, I haven't you haven't done a summer and the humidity and all the all the stories that go with that. Um, and whether we we were jokingly saying, oh well, maybe here, there, and go somewhere else, and you know maybe I'll go home to paint for my 
you know, the paintings for the cafe and, you know, just having some fun of projected outcomes of possibilities because, you know, anything can be. And so I kind of also, but then again, I might enjoy humidity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I've got, you know, it's, it's that thought, oh, no, I won't enjoy, you know, uh, mm, you mm, know, because that's mm. the story you've been told. Whereas mm. the, funny, the funnier thing is, is we're, uh, I've got an Uber guy who's telling us he does Bikram yoga and stuff. And, and so the perfect guy, obviously, to pick us up on the airport, uh, take us to the airport. But he said, um, he, and so he was telling us a story about how much he loved humidity. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so it's like the contrast was like, mm. you know. <laughs> Perspective of realities, like seriously, do. But I mean, if you do Bikram and whatever, you probably do love yeah. <laughs> You'll have to take up Bikram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> yeah, you won't have to. I could just do it outside by the sounds or inside, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, yeah, yeah. Contrast reality, multitude of experiences. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Hey, I've got another question. Yeah. Based on my, an experience I had this week, which, <laughs> I I had, which I had briefly mentioned to you, Ali, but um, I might just give Vanessa a bit of context. Um, mm -hmm. We were at the snow and um, I had, we had organised for this couple that we didn't know um, to look after Patty one day and we were going to look after their kids. So they were going to do the morning, we were going to do the afternoon. And I'd, I'd taken Patty to their lodge the day before to meet them and to play. Um, and we'd made this arrangement. And anyway, it came to the day to act for me to take him down to, to drop him off. And um, I had a complete meltdown. <laughs> and I just had... Um, fear come up about not being able to trust. Like I actually saw the thought come in and anyway, mm. of not being able to trust them with Patty. Wow. Um, and I, can't, I was very aware of the emotion and I breathed. And anyway, I was able to get halfway there and then I just, I just, yeah, I got very emotional and then I was like, okay. And I was just with it, Ali and I, you know, and it subsided, but then I was like, okay, what do I want to do? And I was just like, I just want to go back to our lodge. I didn't want to give Patty, like I didn't want to do what I'd arranged. So I just texted him and said, look, I'm going to have to cancel, which was all fine. And Ali, what I was curious about was, you know, in my mind I had was like, oh, okay, this is about, you know, um, a trauma I had when I was, you know, in my early yeah. 20s. Yeah. And then, and so I kind of was able to be kind to myself and go yeah, yeah that's fine and then Ali I remember you said to me when I was sharing it with you and I got back and you said but we're but you but there was obviously stuff going on that led to that trauma which I completely agree with and I've been I've been quite curious about at what point I decided um I wasn't safe or the world wasn't safe or that mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be looked mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. um and you know I've had one or two things go oh, maybe that was it maybe that was it Although I don't, I'm kind of curious, like maybe it actually doesn't matter what the point was. No. It's but then, just being aware that when it comes up, just to, to be with it. And allow it to be. And allow it to be, yeah. 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 Um, cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was going down a path here. I, I agree. Um, fear, trust, reflection, um, the will show you back, the self, the self and being, you know. Um, and as you know, that, that whole the life life thing that whole life experience playing its reflection and if you want to dissect mm. it to pieces you know you can dissect it to pieces and make it what you want um the simplicity is is that we're here to experience life and i think we get too tied up on on what may happen <laughs> or what may not happen um mm. i think the, i want to go to a point though where you went which i think just to share with everybody um mm. and, is that we can when you when you become aware, as an awareness in how we portray our experience through what we're sharing here, um, I'm talking, you know, awareness and the reflection, awareness and stuff. Then we become, and this uh, this is again a discussion I have with my daughter tonight because it, she's also skilled in life coaching um, stuff. And I said you become aware of the formulation, so the reality in your playground becomes. Um, 
okay, I can work that out to here. Yep. Yep. And I can do, and, but then if there's stuff that we really, it's almost like we start reprogramming the formula of our mind that, you know, how we have the shield that we've worked through. It's almost like that now our mind's getting so cunning. It's getting that next shield to portray. So we catch ourselves telling the story and then we give it an understanding justification. It sits here, but we don't, uh, actually, yeah. but we don't actually go any deeper because, and look, it doesn't really matter, but what I'm aware of is that what I've noticed in, in a lot of, and even in my own journey, is that um, the wisdom of awareness also can be the detriment to your soul. Mm, 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 mm. Because mm. you start being so aware of the story that you may be telling that you can, just, you can almost justify yourself and play a role without looking at yourself. It's yep. almost like it's awesome. almost like you're putting a veil over yourself because you've yeah. got this full-on awareness and you've got all the stories and the understanding. Yet, and I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm really okay. And you're playing this game, and the reality is, yeah, but I'm still not. Um, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this way. But I'm also I'm also so tapped in. I'm, I've I've got the story going in my head that I can give to you. So you can hear it, but I'm not willing to go looking any further because I've, I've, I've got this, at, uh, I know what you're saying and I know that, but the reality is I'm not going to go there. Do you know what I mean? So we start, so that, and that's what I think, um, what I've become aware of in all of, you know, with myself and with people that I interact with is that they become so aware, but then it becomes a detriment because mm. it's almost they get cunning to themselves mm. Mm. without actually um, dealing with aspects. And then they're still reacting, but they're, not, they're almost saying, no, nah, that's not mine, but they're having a reaction. Mm. 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 You know? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I know yeah. exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So it's the formulation of um, awareness is that... Um, once you formulate a new role, of course you're going to get a contrasting role because there's so many places to play, you know, because <laughs> it's, we're, we're coming out at nothing. So that's why the importance of no question and it all just being as it is. There's nothing to say. There's no, it's just being, just being and, and, and there's, and there's nothing to share. There's nothing to do. <laughs> what are we doing here? That was, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were about to go and the, I thought you were about to reflect back to me where I had, I had done that with my story that I had covered something. Oh, actually we did do, yeah, no, I didn't even go there. No, um, I thought you were about to go and so I'm like, I'm waiting, I'm so open to yeah. me doing that. Because well, there's, go, that. go, go there then. I'm, that's yours. Yeah, see how free I am? I just don't even have that thinking. It's so funny. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking, oh, you're about to, I don't know. Um, I don't so know. So that, that was last week or something. Was it wasn't to do with family and stuff and we were chatting away and you said I could hear myself and I said to you, um, I brought something up and she goes, oh my gosh, I could hear myself telling you the story. And I'm thinking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was, a, that was the whole thing about um, com the commitment or obligation. Yeah. And that I had portrayed it in my mind as, oh yeah, that's completely in my flow when it wasn't at all. Like, it was, <laughs> I mean, it was, but it wasn't really. Yeah. And that I didn't end up, I didn't end up doing it because it was like, oh my God, that was so ambitious. And yep. yeah, 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 but yeah. So, so Vanessa, we're just kind of skimming. Um, that <laughs> Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa's sitting in, and, and so is everyone else sitting in. What the fuck are they on about? Um, yeah, the, but but what I'm saying is, we get when you can start recognizing the conversations you're having and what you're delivering. Um, it's almost sometimes the cleverness of of the reality playing itself out through you, and it's almost masking aspects of that, even even to the totally aware. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. As, yeah, mm. just yeah, um, yeah, cool, cool, mm. uh, yeah, cool, cool. Mm. Touch, touch, isn't that that's so like? And I suppose the only way you know that's happening is 
is looking at the reflection from the universe, like what's actually what you're actually what's happening in life. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and authentically not denying the reactive feeling. Yes. The the indicator. Yeah. 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 Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome. 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 I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, actually, and, and even to the point, she's like, oh, look, my husband came to me the other day and he said, you know, after our trip and stuff, and because obviously there's stuff going on in his world and stuff, and, and I'm allowing him to be, because we're, you know, we can be quite contrasting, but we're, we're very alike as well. But and he's, and in the end, aware of how I've chosen to live in my, you know, reality, and aware of how he's choosing to live in his reality, and we all unite together the contrast plays that back, you know, the, the difference plays it back to us in, our, in, in life. And then he comes to me yesterday and he goes, I was having a moment and I just thought, well, I chose to be here. And I was like, dude. Wow. Dude, you nailed it. We're, <laughs> we're in a fucking good place. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and, and, and look, maybe it's been that moment I've been waiting for because I don't formulate a force, you know, I would prefer the ownership of the reactions and the bits and pieces. Um, yet the reality is, is if I'm reacting to whatever he's doing or playing, then it's mine anyway. So he can play mm -hmm. however. So the contrast, so people were talking to me about, uh, I had a friend say, um, somebody in a soul relationship doesn't suit because it's, um, they're at this point and this person's at this point and they can't get they are not you know and my thing is that in the whole being it's all playable anyway it doesn't matter what point if you're here or there if you're at an um whatever stage mm. of evolution mm. of your soul to the density of someone else's soul it's still totally doable as long as you're not getting abused and beaten and whatever but you know but if you're getting that that's obviously you wouldn't be there you'd be on the same page but you know what i mean but, but the reality is is that a rela all relationships are doable even my old relationship would have been doable if i had a different headspace to what i was thinking um yeah. you know it's it's just um so i kind of feel taking that energy space to that playground is, you know is, is just magic you know that's that's just magic yeah, I was kind of like, wow. It's mm. funny, eh? You could be given, you know, you can be given diamonds and you can be given whatever in the world and, you know, wine, chocolate, roses, freaking Mercedes, whatever you want. Yet that one moment was probably the most priceless moment that you could, it's the biggest gift. It was like, <laughs> boom. Oh, yeah, I do love you. That's, that's <laughs> the guy. That's just, just yeah, yeah, yeah. something so simple. It's like, oh, thank God, oh, beautiful. you know, mm. just walking, walking and sharing and not blaming because there's just so much anger in the world and um, which has a place, you know, it's just a choice so that I enjoy other places because I choose to see and saying that, you know, it's all the same. <laughs> it's only what I give it that makes it different. So, okay, yeah. Anyway, that was me rambling. Go for it. Um, What's your feedback on anything, Vanessa? Because I'm quite keen to... You're sitting there and you look like you're in the zone. Uh, I just, <laughs> my mind's just going. <laughs> <laughs> Bug, as she said, I wish I didn't come tonight. That's what? another three weeks damage. <laughs> you haven't done that to me for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too much to digest. <laughs> mm. um, yes, there's something there about not asking the question. Yeah. And it's actually it's the second time I've heard that this week, which just makes it, you know, just yeah, raises a little flag for me. Yeah. 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 Because you know, out of the question comes a formulation of creation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now <laughs> you're just laughing at that, rolling it in my mouth, eh? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's just, just, a, just a side note. <laughs> It's okay. I'll go back oh and quote God. that tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. 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 So the I love that Vanessa just good. went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't. I know. Sorry. We're still in that zone. We'll get to you, Vanessa, in a minute. <laughs> 
yeah, no, she was very calm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, are you saying at the moment you asked the question, you stepped out of being? Yeah, so, so well, it's, you've stepped out of nothing into something. Mm. So, if you play from a place of nothing, mm-hmm. and everything else is something. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, once you think, yeah. once you, it, it's a formulation. Once you speak, it's a formulation. Once you act, it's a formulation. And then it plays in multi-fields of creation to make realities. Then you add the attachment to the emotion because that's another playing field, you know? So, so, so out, of, out of nothing, there's like, if you could put all the stars in the world because they are, but we'll use them as a, a thing, that's like a whole lot of stars. So as soon as one, so, so you've got this nothingness here and that star pops out here. Mm-hmm. and then another star pops out so, and, then, and, and then they break and formulate into another, you know, and then they break and formulate and then they break and formulate and, you know, we may have the nothingness here and then we have like planets, earth um, and then, you know ascended masters, Jesus, whatever you want to be and, and humans and or animals and humans all formulated from the one nothingness mm-hmm. So out of that becomes everything. Mm-hmm. So if you can go back into there and play and just know that everything that you think, speak and act is what you're, you're creating for an alternate reality experience, not just for you, for everything, because that's all come from there. And it has the power of everything in there. So the reality of this creation space, say it all be, than the void of nothing, mm-hmm. where perhaps if, every, if anything had a starting point, that was it, and it decided to have a thinking space, and then it created something, and then it's, and all those little specks are just experiences of the whole being, but a personalized version of that. So Pluto and Earth and the whale and the skunk and you and me and the dog are all having a, a personification of that whole being. Mm. So, so the playground to tap into is, is I'd like to call it a void, but it's, it's, it's the nothing because of, I don't believe there's just one void. There's fucking trillions of voids at the end of the day um, because there's probably multitudes of experience from the experience that ever started. So it's, it's not getting too technical, technical, <laughs> technical about how that is. But if it had a starting point, then I'd be feeding off that vessel. By choice, not by I'm telling you what to do. That's just a personal choice of a playground that because out of nothing comes everything. So that makes it more, more of a, a bigger, powerful experience instead of playing to... Um, if I'm just, if I've just got this Jesus experience, Jesus is an aspect of the whole being anyway. Therefore, I'm Jesus as Jesus is it, as Jesus is nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm. But then, I, then, then you, the contrast of thinking is: what if everything all exists as it is, and it's never had a starting point? You know, that's also been in my thought pattern. It's just so, so that's how weird and wacky I go oh the, the whole thing is because and there's my question when have you never felt alive mm. 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 so yeah so I can't kind of play in a limited perspective playground as such mm. because I think it's you know that that nothingness is me here now facilitating in this formula through the expression of Ellie yet is all nothing yet it's everything mm-hmm. mm. yet we only tap into a fractionalized version of the whole being mm. because we think that's all we can do mm. So therefore, once we tap into playing in other aspects of our being, the formulation allows more to be played and, and, and not limited. Mm. Mm. How's that random rambling? Make any sense? 
So if I guess go back to the, you know, the asking the question. <laughs> Did I don't do it? Okay. <laughs> I did well, see? Yeah. <laughs> there was a whole circle there. I just feel like yep. I just need to, to yep. go. get back there. Yep. Um, so is the power in not thinking at all and not formulating the question? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, the void of nothingness would be the ultimate space because the reality of the actualization coming into version would be an unlimited access point to play from. So then if I go back to the house, so then where does, you know, thinking about wanting that's, to that's, yeah, that's That, for me, is a human formula on how to create in a playing field that you know of okay. from a space of a very, very limited field of, we'll call it consciousness, that plays that way. Yet yeah. at this particular moment, as I'm talking to you, is quite a high vibrational place of consciousness. Yet the reality is a much bigger scale than there because we don't even tap into it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a comparison, yet they're all the same. It's because it's a field of reality. So for my formulation, is just allowing it to show me and knowing it from that now, now from that naked point of nothing to the point of when it appears... I'll oh, know and it'll show itself to me because I've got no formula. That's the nothing. That's me playing in the nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you Does yeah, that make sense? Clarifying that. Yeah. 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 So that's more where I play from. Yeah. So in a moment that I receive a call and then it's like someone will say, uh, oh, okay, we'll use Cara the other day said, oh, I'm going to conscious cravings. I came out of a meet, uh, came out of my just, um, acupuncture, read her message and missed it by half an hour or so and I felt it was a and in that moment it was a point that was delivered to me from nothing mm -hmm. and it was in that moment whether I chose to play in it or think it just not have any attachment to it but I felt it but I felt it came from nothing at that particular moment and I went and played in it and there come the outcome of me being able to sell books and I had, didn't even get to see Cara. So there's a whole lot of stuff that comes out of nothing mm -hmm. and the less clutter going on in us, the nothing, and so we can match it. It means that those points link up very simple and easy. They're not, they're not in the density of the dark, hard work. Mm -hmm. Yet the formulation of creation and making a home like you are, I would definitely still humanly play in that because I know I play in that and do that well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, because I was just trying to work out where those two things fit together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, preference and choice is simple and easy and just allowing that process to unfold and it's benevolent outcome and I think it's a more natural outcome when it's less controlled and formulated and... and all those people that, and I think it's about me, what I'd like to put back into the space, if, if it so cool does that, um, because there's so many people saying you have to work hard, this is what you've got to do, this is going to, and they're formulating so many more formulas that are so far from the simplicity of just the nothing. Yeah. The no questions, the allowing. Um, you know, I think there's a really cool playing ground in there and it's just almost being blank enough in every moment that it turns up and you know, bang, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, yeah. And everyone's got to have their own personal version that works for them, that magnetizes to their experience. Because if you're sitting there trying to do this and you're thinking, I've got to try and do it this way, you've yeah. automatically created that much of a boundary of its own result yeah so that's the it's, it's almost like you know how the plastic bags are coming mm -hmm. you have gone out you know how they you know how we're all gonna take our own back it's almost like every time oh, i must remember to pick up that and soon that i must remember to take that is just a natural i'll take that yeah it's a new formulation that you run the yeah. new habit is created which means that that expansion goes there because there's nothing blocking because it just happens naturally. There's no thought. Mm. Yeah. 
Hmm. Okay, well, Gabriel, we should literally get some sleep, eh, babe? But we'll go around. You can just, anything you wanted to have a top up on that? <laughs> She's like, mm. no, that was great. That was great. That was great. <laughs> it was great. It was great. It was great. It was great. I, I'm glad it was great. I was like, yeah, it was great. <laughs> I, I always think, nah, and then I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow I, and I'll probably process a little bit tomorrow but I, i'll go back and get those robotic chats that fly through mm, and see what they've mm, got to say yeah mm. and that last little set of questions was oh priceless yeah. <laughs> thank you vanessa <laughs> yeah i love it and thank I, you ali yeah no nah, i love it when you uh, love love the stimulation thank you yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah. now nah, oh. it's all perfect thank there's you a book in there there's a book in there oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I thought I'd actually just say that to, before we finish. Um, but yes, I did see something formulated in book form, whether it was one of the ladies that we listened to at Sheena's. Um, and I saw how simplistically this was done. And then I got something going, oh, you can turn this into a ebook through whatever and so uh, two little signs today and I was going oh Vanessa and then you're here tonight so there you go formulation <laughs> and, and again okay again um play and passion and fun and everything else gets taken care of mm. itself mm. so mm. if you're playing in passion and fun mm. that sorts itself out mm. 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 that's funny I was I've been thinking about that today yeah about what my passion and fun is. <laughs> well, it's, it's, look, I use them as words. I don't, I don't even think that it's, it's good to word anything. Mm. It's just experiencing it for what it is. And obviously we've got an inner thing that feels better. We enjoy more, we don't enjoy more. And so it's kind of like, just do what feels good because we know what that feels like. Um, but it just becomes a personal choice. Anyway, I can ramble away. You guys go get some sleep. Thanks for tuning up and chatting. And um, keep us posted, Vanessa. Okay, excellent. <laughs> With my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Doing your mind in. Yeah. 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 That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Any <Anytime. Anytime. laughs> Good Love night. You girls. Bye. 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 Mm.